What's up everybody? Are you ready to see one of the coolest projects Sagari's ever done? It's not the largest, but it's the most unique. 16 foot by 11 foot metallic epoxy wall, dirty pour effect. And we added our matte urethane with the grit additive for extreme durability. Enjoy the video. What we're doing here is filling all our screw holes, all our seams. That way when we lay the epoxy down, it's not gonna run through all our seams and fill up all our screw holes. This is our patcher paste. Works amazing for filling cracks and gaps and seams and anything that you don't want epoxy to run down into. All right, so what's going on now is Ray's rolling out a thin layer of white pigmented epoxy for our base coat. Basically, that way when we do our dirty pour, the resin is gonna be able to flow a lot easier and move across that uh, massive area that we're coating. It's gonna be really cool. We're gonna be having our mixing station set up here. A bunch of cool colors are gonna be mixed up, and then we're gonna do the craziest dirty pour you've ever seen. So we're getting ready to mix up all the metallics for the dirty pour. We have all the metallics mixed into the part A's and what we're going to do is pour five batches. So we're gonna mix up three sets of colors but we're gonna split two of those batches and we'll show you what that looks like. So the first thing we're going to do is mix all three of these colors at the same time. Now we're going 
to split all of these colors so that we can have even batches. All right, now we have two different batches ready for the dirty pour. We want to pour them quick because it's mixed up epoxy in a mass. So all of us are going to grab one of our mixes, and we're going to pour it into this bucket, and we want to do it at the same time. You guys ready? just talk about this project real quick. So these walls are designed to be built flat and then tilted up once you're done coating. So new construction, home builders out there, custom homes, owner builders, remodels, stuff like that. Something where you're gonna build a wall, you're gonna tilt it up. These are perfect walls for that application. Super simple to do. If you guys have any questions on how to create this wall or wanna do something in the future, if you're a builder, contractor, homeowner, whatever it is, Get a hold of us, we'll dial you in. All right guys, we're getting ready to do the world's largest dirty pour and we're gonna attempt to do it without tilting it, moving it, blowing it around or nothing. Just pouring out a true dirty pour on this whole massive piece here.
Okay, I'm gonna take just some pigmented white and I'm just gonna fill in these edges where the white's at, it's, a, it's really thin. So this will help kind of level everything out instead of waiting for the resin to get there. And this is going to be our backdrop for some videos, so we got to dole it out. What better way to use our matte urethane? And we're going to add our grit for extreme durability. And I know you guys are going to comment, why would you take this high gloss finish and turn it to a matte? That's why. Get rid of the glare. So I got my mats mixed up here. I'm going to be using an 18 inch roller on this and then an 18 inch roller tray. So we have the bottom taped off. We got cardboard down, that way we're not making a mess. And I'm using a half inch nap. That way I can get a lot more product on my roller. We've already de-shedded it. So I'm just gonna take a second here and kind of get this soaked in because it's such a big nap. And what I'm gonna do, I wanna start rolling in the middle, go up and down a little bit, and then I'll go top to bottom. I don't wanna get a bunch of product on my roller, start at the top or start at the bottom, and that's gonna be where most of my product is. That way I start in the middle, and kind of feather that out all the way to your top and bottom. Just like this. So I'll go a little down, a little bit up, and then I'll go all the way to the floor. That way we get a nice, even coat on this whole section. And I'm gonna get about one roller width pass per dip. I don't wanna stretch it. I wanna leave it on a little thick, start in the middle. Start rolling that out. And it's a little thicker now that our roller's getting set up, so I might get a roller and a half width out of each dip. We want to kind of keep it consistent as far as the thickness goes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to roll out a couple feet, and then I'll go back and do my final back roll and get rid of any roller lines that I have out here. All right, now I've got it kind of rolled out pretty good. Now I'm going to do a final nice and light roll right down there from the top to bottom, overlapping a little. And I want to be real gentle and not apply any pressure to any of my edges. Kind of just let it glide on there. And then I'm going to just get it some different angles to make sure everything fits in. Looks really good. So now let's continue that process. That's how you take a high gloss epoxy surface and turn it into a low, low matte sheen finish in just a matter of minutes. Never sand epoxy again for a matte finish.
Thanks for watching everyone. This was a fun project. Glad that you guys could be a part of it. And remember, we have products for basically any project that can go over almost any surfaces. And we also have extremely durable top coats, whether you want high gloss, matte finish, extreme durability, whatever you guys are looking for, we have it. So subscribe, comment below, let us, let us know what you thought of this wall, and we'll see you on the next video.